So that right there is the Miradine created by Miralure, one of the most classic baits ever. Probably top five most popular baits for inshore fishing created ever. And I have never one time thrown this on my boat, not once. So I'm not sure why that is. I don't feel that the Miradine has been as popular in like the past five years as some other baits. I feel like in 2015, 2016, the Miradine was like literally everyone threw it every day. It was, I saw it all over Instagram. People were catching fish nonstop with it. And I feel like it hasn't been like that in the past, past couple years. I just haven't seen people using it. I don't know why that is. I could be totally wrong in saying this, but I just don't feel like people have been using it. And myself included, I haven't used it in four or five years. Um, now this bait is about $7.99. It's basically a suspending twitch bait where you drop it, it sinks just a tad bit, probably, I don't know, a couple inches to a foot up under the surface, you twitch it, it flashes, like flicks, 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 and it catches a lot of fish. Now, I know it catches a lot of fish, but I don't know if it's gonna be great for my style of fishing. We're gonna put that to the test today. We're gonna throw it around, look for redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, pretty much everything you can catch in shore, we're gonna go for today. We're gonna throw some docks, mangroves, things like that, and hopefully it'll get it done today. So we're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna tie it on right now, and then I'll show you the rig I'm using. All right, so there it is. I just went ahead and tied it on with 30 pound mono, got that going. And we're gonna be throwing it on my 2500 Stratic with the seven foot medium. This is now the JM edition custom rod. So this is uh, kind of a big announcement, but this rod as well as the other rod, I'll show you guys here in a second, are now for sale. These rods are absolutely amazing. They're made by Calusa Custom Rods. And uh, this is for lines 10 to 20 pound. And I actually have a 15 pound braid on here with a 2500 and this rod is now for sale on Calusa's website. So that's pretty exciting to have like my own rods that you guys will be able to go out and buy. So if you guys are interested in a new rod, be sure to check out this one. It is split grip, cork, and it is absolutely a beautiful rod, very light. And I'll just be honest, it is listed for $149.99. So I feel like it's right up there with the competition. It is a high quality rod and I'm excited. So hopefully you guys wanna check it out. And a big important thing with uh, this rod as well and the other rod, uh, if you use code Justin, you'll save 10% on the order, so that'll basically take off the shipping cost for the rods. Shipping can be sort of expensive with fishing rods, so if you use code Justin, you'll pass up on shipping. It'll save you 10% on your order. And the other rod, which is my other JM Edition rod, this is the 7, 6, 20 to 40 pound. It's a heavy rod. I've got a 5,500 spin fisher on here. This is the rod you guys have been seeing me use with the jacks, the snook, the tarpon. Um, basically a live mullet, good live mullet rod that I like to throw around docks and stuff to be able to pull fish around. But this rod is $199.99, so it's another gorgeous rod. All right, let me see if this will focus. Yeah, so both rods do have the JM logo on it. The other one's in the similar spot with the Calusa logo. So these rods will just be a special part of the channel. If you guys want to check them out, please do so. Uh, there will be a link in the description for both rods. And uh, we're going to throw the Twitch bait around, or the Miradine around right now, and hopefully it'll get us some fish. So let's do it, guys. Oh, there's a fish. Mm. That's a nice snook. I could tell he got it on the short end because he only had the back treble hook on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. First fish of the day. Is a micro jack. I think this might be the smallest jack I've ever caught. Oh, that doesn't even count for first fish. He was not much bigger than the lure. <laughs> hooked in the belly that's why I couldn't pull him out his head was straight in the bottom of the was going straight down it's a little fish he was fighting like he was 25 26 he ate it really right as it hit the water I didn't even pull it for a second all right so first let's just say real fish of the day uh, is the little snook very pretty fish I let that lure really it hit the water and the fish was already on I really didn't pull it at all so I was kind of confused I thought I had a branch at first but little guy probably just 18 inches or so and uh, let's just put them back in the water. <sighs> it's 
gonna cruise right back over to his tree. All right, first fish down on the mirror, Gene. Let's keep it going. That's a huge fish. Oh, no, he just hit it super hard. Holy crap. Work him out. <laughs> Dude, that wake from that snook was huge. And the snook is like 14 inches. Oh my gosh. Not, not even joking. That wake was something a 40 inch snook would push off when he hit it. That was cool. Man, I was ready to have a fight there. And then I see him come out and it's such a small snook. All right, so fish number two, about the same size as the last one, probably 18 to 20 inches. I'm not even joking. That wake that pushed off right there when he hit in the shadow, I was like, man, this is a huge snook I just hooked. But Meridine's getting it done. This fish comes about five minutes after that last one. So we're starting to see some fish here. They're sitting right in that shadow line, but get this guy unhooked and we get him back in the water. Adios. There's fish. Ooh. He ate that so softly. That was the softest eat. It was like I was reeling and then I had a fish on. Never felt a bite. All right, so species number two of the day. Just a little trout. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in the water here real quick, but trout on a Miradine has probably been done 10 million times in the history of the world. Popular lure for trout is a Miradine, so throw this guy back in. He's probably, uh, I don't know, 15 inches or so. All right, back in the water you go. All right, so it's two species down. What do you say we get a redfish here? I'll keep looking. I think we can get that slam on the Miradine. That would be cool. Oh, I'm on. That was cool. I watched him race out of there. Oh, baby. I know what this guy is. All right, well, we have now done it. That is a uh, tiny redfish on the uh, on the Miradine, but that was a slam right there in probably, I would say 30 to 40 minutes. I You guys probably can't tell by the video, but I've only really been fishing here in this little section for about 40 minutes, and I've got those three, the redfish, the snook, and the trout in that, that amount of time. So decent fishing, they're biting really well right now. I really like the shadow line that goes out like six feet off the mangroves. A lot of those fish are sitting in there and waiting for the, uh, the bait to just pull right out of that shadow line and then take a bite on the, uh, on the little Miradine there. So I'll go ahead and lay this guy back in the water and keep fishing. Really pretty redfish. Big snook, big snook, big snook, just inhaled it. Yeah, yeah, he's under there. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Oh my God. Work him out here, work him out here. My gosh, he's one. He's got one trouble in him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Out, 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 out! Ah, oh, he doesn't want to give it to me. Under his go plate. Come on. Holy crap! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Got him. Not letting you go. Oh, I got you tight. Oh, holy crap, dude. <sighs> On the freaking Miradine, dude. Like it's freaking 2016. Oh my God. Let me turn the camera like over here. 
Oh. That's sketchy. Oh, with treble hooks. All right, so check that guy out. The boat's moving a little bit here. But probably, I'll put him on the ruler here in a second. I think he's 29, I'm gonna say. 29, and he's hit that like five times. He would swing, swing, swing on it. And then I just, one more tap, pause, and he inhaled it. That was sick. Whew. Got him with just one little treble hook in him. Hooked him good though. He would have stuck either way. All right. So I jumped out of the water there really quick because I was just not ready to deal with that those mangroves and the trolling motor and just would have been a little bit tougher to do. So immediately hopped out. Go ahead. Lay her right here on the ruler. Bring her up to zero right there. And all the way back to, ooh, so close. Uh, in between 29 and 30, we'll call her 30. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt there. Oh, come here, girl. Huge head, this is definitely gonna be a fish that's 40 inches one day. Really big head for a 30 inch snook. Pretty much, she should be good to go. Barely even removed her from the water. Whew. That was awesome. Awesome to see that fish chase it 20 feet out of the mangroves. Foom, 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 and then whoo, come across it. There she goes, right back into her little mangroves. So how about that, guys? That was sick. That was so awesome. There's a little Miradine right there. A little green back. Uh, a little dot there. I'm not really sure what this color is. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments, but let me know. Have you guys... Uh, how often have you guys been using the Miradine? I don't know, it's just something that pretty much just ignored forever. But uh, let's catch some fish today. How about that? Let's keep it going. Oh, nice red, just ate it. Saw that. Saw his mouth open up wide on it. Knew there was going to be a fish in this mangroves right here. Huge mangroves right above me, hanging over the water. Totally knew that was going to be a good spot for a fish to be. I was expecting a snook or tarpon, but I'll take a red. So a little bit bigger red fish than the uh, one I caught earlier. Probably 20 inches or so. Miradine's working, guys. Miradine's working. Back in the water you go. Adios. Oof. All right, so behind me or above me, it looks like it's about to storm. So I'm gonna keep fishing. This might turn the bite on even more, um, or it might get struck by lightning. Who knows? Let's just keep fishing. Oh, got a fish. That fish was out in the open. Oh, goodbye. Small snook. <laughs> Stuck a micro that I just saw in the trees. Little tiny fish swimming along the mangroves. Check out this guy. Oh, there's a big tarpon under this dock. Nothing I can do about it. What timing, dude. I don't know if you guys can see there is in the under the dock right there. All right, back in the water you go. Where'd that tarpon go? Oh, I see him. He's out in the flat now. He's out in open water. Sneak up on him. Oh, he's real skinny. That would be a beautiful cast if I had a fly rod. That would be a money shot. All right, let's give it a shot here. Oh, he just blasted off. Yeah, there he goes. He's right here. Oh, tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. Tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. I haven't seen very many today. I've, I've seen a couple, but what bad timing. I hook a small snook, and then the nice tarpon comes rolling in while I'm unhooking him. Come here, redfish. Redfish, redfish. If I can make a cast on him, that was awful. I'm drifting away here with the boat. Seize it, seize it, seize it, seize it. Come on, come get it, 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 come get it. Yep, 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 yep. Right at the boat, right at the boat, yep. Woo! Oh my god, I'm drifting away with the wind. God, that was a chase. That was a chase. 
no less than 25 feet, he just chased the Mirrodin there and ate it five feet from the boat. Oh, that was cool. The redfish must have swam right past that tarpon we saw a minute ago. Everything is eating so well right now. I think it's the overcast skies, windy day. Go for a quick release here. Yep, see ya. Whew. That's crazy, the way he followed it. No less than 20, 25 feet after he saw it. I was just twitching it, working it hard, ripping it, ripping it, and each time I would rip it, he would just take off faster for it. By the time I got to the boat, he inhaled it. God, we're killing him today. I see some fish under this tree here. I can't tell what kind of fish they are. Mullet, that is in fact mullet. Another redfish right here. Oh, he's pretty. Really pretty redfish. Yep, 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 yep. Inhaled it. Everyone today. <laughs> Everyone, dude. Oh my gosh, they are so hungry. Gosh, they are killing lures today. Look at that bright blue tail on him this is about the average size redfish that's out there look at that blue tail right blue all right let's get him unhooked and back in the water Whew. they are killing the mirrodin yep there he goes i love those redfish that are just sitting out off the shoreline with their face down in the sand absolute best thing best thing in the world oh there's a fish here on the bottom i think it's a snook Hasn't seen me yet, which is good. Yep, 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 nope, nope, nope. Dude, he just chased that mullet. He's hungry, he's hungry. Got him that time. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Or is it a trout? Oh, it's a nice trout, dude. Oh! No, no joke, a little finger mullet swam over him right as I missed right as I missed him the first time and he just bolted at that finger mullet. He almost got slapped. <laughs> nice trout, man. I love the good balance between redfish, snook, and trout. It's a good one. Fat trout right there. I don't want to touch him too much. Go on a one, protect the, the trout's body because they have a nice slime on them. <sighs> that helps protect their skin. And then two, I didn't really want to touch them because that slime can come off and get your fingers so dang slimy. But probably a 21 inch trout right there. That was <laughs> really cool. I'm telling you, that little finger mullet swam over his head right after the Miradine kind of turned him up and woke him up. And <laughs> that little mullet almost got clapped. <laughs> Tell you what, there's nothing, nothing better than watching a fish eat your lure. Nothing, nothing better. Except maybe a fish eating your finger mullet. That's, that's about right up there with it. All right, so back in my room right now, the outro I recorded on the water was really bad, so I'm re-recording another one right now. But that was fish back to back to back. Uh, I don't think I've ever caught that many fish in a single day before. And on a Miradine, a lure I haven't thrown in like four or five years. So it does still work to still get the job done. So if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys wanna check out the rods, whether it be the split grip rod or the heavy rod, both are for sale. I'll have a link in the description for you guys to check them out, as well as a link for the Miradine in the description if you guys wanna check that out as well. So that is all I have for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.